This is the rules for playing pool when you're playing at home with your friends. This is not meant as an explanation for how pool really is played in the professional leagues or down the street at the bar where the guy's gonna have a hundred bucks and then hustle you. Ooh, and you should definitely check out the 1961 movie, The Hustler. This is simply how two friends should play at home. Speaking of which, two friends, while having a spirited game, can always show good sportsmanship, and of course, this game is just for fun. With the at-home rules, we're not going to do anything with the numbers. You're just going to either be solids or stripes for the game, and this is determined by whoever gets in the first ball. But first, we arrange the triangle. Separate the solids and the stripes as best you can, but always put the eight ball in the third row in the center. Place the triangle at the tip of the second diamond, and then start your play. The object of the game is to be the first to get all your balls in, taking turns whenever a player does not get a ball in pocket, leaving the eight ball for last. Hitting the eight ball in before all of your assigned balls is an automatic loss. Once you're ready to hit the eight ball, you have to call which pocket the eight ball is going to go into. If it goes into a different pocket, you lose, as well as if you get the cue ball in, scratching, you lose. And of course, scratching will happen during the normal course of play. When this happens, you are penalized by taking one of your balls out and putting it where the tip of the triangle was. Your competitor is then allowed to put the cue ball anywhere they like behind the second dot. However, you are not allowed to hit any of the balls behind the second dot, and you must be shooting in the direction in which you originally broke the triangle. That's basically everything you need to know. That said, in my house we have two additional rules. We like to play that you must keep both feet on the ground at all times. Besides, if you're struggling to reach your shot, you should ask for a bridge. If you hit a competitor's ball before hitting your own, it's a scratch. Or, if you miss a ball altogether without hitting three sides, that is also a scratch. That's a, that's a scratch. Finally, a lot of people like to say you have to call your shots, otherwise it's slop. But remember, this is a fun game, and as long as it's not on the eight ball, whatever ball goes in, we say luck happens, and that's all right with us. We're here to have fun. I hope this video explained to you how to play a game with your friends at home. I know we didn't get into a lot of special terms and the autonomy of a pool table, but this is meant to just be playing a game with your friend. If you don't have a pool table yet, and you're looking to get a fabulous table in your own home, check out BAPoolTables.com. That's where I got this table, and I can't recommend them enough. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs>